In Star Trek, Strange New Worlds Episode 8, Rikia Mbenga, Sage Arendelle, got to change her story and rewrite her future, but could this set the stage for the Star Trek prequel series to break canon and write new endings for the crew? Rikia was transformed into a new kind of being by a powerful entity in the Jonesian Nebula, which she named Deborah after her late mother. The young daughter of Dr. Mbenga, Babs Olushanmokin, was dying of terminal signokemia, but Deborah made Rikia an immortal being by separating her from her body. However, Rikia's new lease on life may signal a willingness for Strange New Worlds to do the same for some of the Starship Enterprise's crew. Strange New Worlds has been incredibly well received by Trekkers because it has resurrected the lost spirit of classic Star Trek. As an episodic show, Strange New Worlds has brought back the beloved, Problem of the Week format introduced by Star Trek, the original series, and it has also aesthetically modernized the look and feel of Gene Roddenberry's 1960s vision. Strange New Worlds Episode 8, The Elysian Kingdom, is the latest crowd-pleasing example of how the show is telling entertaining and thought-provoking sci-fi stories the way TOS would if it were made today. However, the lone knock against Strange New Worlds is that it's a prequel series that has to fit into established canon. Strange New Worlds picked up after Star Trek, Discovery Season 2 and, no matter what else the five-year mission of Captain Christopher Pike's Anson Mount entails, the Starship Enterprise will pass to Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner, so that Star Trek canon can proceed as it must.